we're looking at you know how do we refine our message what are going to be the needs of educators uh, not just one or two years out but what is education going to look like years from now and how can we better prepare It's also a consultative and advisory type role when school systems are looking to do technology initiatives. Well, what can we do to help make sure they're on the right path? Are they asking the right questions? And, and sometimes in as little as 30 seconds or a minute, I'll start to see red flags popping up that suggest, well, let's, let's start to look at this because I'm not here to suggest I have all the answers by no means. But I've worked with a lot of intelligent people who've learned phenomenal lessons just in school systems around the country. And can we share those best practices of what works and what doesn't work to, to get it out there to schools? Nobody ever gets it right the first time. And if they do, it's luck. And we need to always address the two fears that every teacher has. And that's the fear of time, the fear of failure. So let, let's just look at time. And Rich, I mean, how many, the typical school system you run into right now has about how many days of professional development built into their calendar? What would you say? Three, four, three. maybe? If you two? have more than three, you're doing really well. Okay, so more than three, you're doing well. You take a typical classroom teacher who has gone through their own education themselves, they have a baccalaureate, a master's, and possibly a median 17 years teaching in the classroom. They've got over two decades of learning by lecture. We want them to now go to project-based learning and you know, learning through discussion, doing, teaching others, much more active methods of learning than what Edgar Dale's cone of experience used to say, learning by listening, hearing, and watching are the ineffective methods. But those are the ones we've been doing for the last 60 years, even though we know it's not the most effective. How much time is it going to take somebody to unlearn what has been instilled in them for all these decades. Certainly not three or four days. The most successful school systems are the ones that recognize to get teachers to cross that chasm. The investment time could be 20, 30, 40 days of PD in a year. That's where true leadership from school systems can come on board because they recognize that the most important investment they can make when they say, well, what infrastructure investment do I need to make? Networks, devices, I always say teachers. If you're not investing in your faculty, you don't get a return on your investment. And I'm not just saying that every district's got to say 30 days. And you've got to figure out ways, weekends, summer academies, online resources, mentoring, support tools. What are you going to give that teacher so that they are able to have the benefit of time to learn these skills?